Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Hawk Helium Climbing Sticks. These are the 20 inch climbing sticks. Uh, I bought these off of Amazon, but uh, before I give you guys the pricing, so make sure to go ahead and subscribe or uh, at least drop the like button down on this video so that anybody that's looking for affordable climbing sticks can uh, find this video and hopefully these will help them out. But this, These are the Hawk Helium 20 inch climbing sticks. Again, purchase these off of Amazon. I'll link everything down below. Uh, they normally come in a pack of four, which is what I purchased, but I'm only using two and my brother's using the other two. For a pack of four, it's $115, or you can get singles for only $40. Um, they come here pretty much suction cupped together is the way you stack these guys. So that's pretty much how they'll stack, and then you just pull them off. A lot of people had uh, some reviews saying that sometimes these suction cups in cold weather have been giving them issues. As far as the suction cups go here, so that is how they stack. Um, I haven't really used them that much, so like I said, this is just my initial thoughts on these. I feel like they're pretty good how they stack. Uh, there is a bolt in there. I'm sure you could purchase uh, just parts if, say, they start breaking on you and things like that. But for the price, these are the most affordable ones that I found that seem to be able to get the job done uh, without breaking the bank too much. Like I said, so when you get it, they won't come assembled. You'll have to bolt the brackets onto them. It's pretty simple. And then you'll uh, have to attach the Versa style button here, which is another cool way to, uh, that you can use it whenever you attach it to the tree. You have to use the Versa button there. So that's a pretty neat thing. They also include all of your straps that you're going to need. Um, and I'll show you that here in a little bit when I strap it to the tree. But basically, the steps just kind of fold out on themselves like this. And that creates your steps. And the top steps are there, guys. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys how I we attach these to the tree. First of all, I'm just going to undo it. I'm going to remove my little strap here. I had it all, like, <laughs> pretty much all wrapped up on itself right here, guys. Um, and I guess I could just do this and just drop it. There we go. First off, you're going to have... The mount there try to make this just kind of straight to the point but you're going to get the strap with them and what the strap is it pretty much has a whole bunch of loops in it like that all the way down so what i do is you're going to put that strap the first one just attach it to the versa button like this you know send the button through then you're going to go to the tree you're going to wrap this around the tree and then the nearest, uh, you're just going to make sure it's flat all the way around. I'll attach it here to the tree, but I'm just trying to show you guys so it's a little bit better. Uh, make sure it's flat all the way around the tree. It's not twisted up. You're going to find the nearest open loop again. And then you're going to wrap it on that. Push down on it so that this bites the tree. And then you'll be able to fold the steps down, and that should be able to help you out. But I want to show you guys how quick and easy this is. So when you're out in the woods, um, you can make this happen. But... I've been pretty excited for all of my climbing gear setup that I've actually been practicing on my front trees here um, pretty constantly. So let's go ahead and take this. We're just going to throw it on the tree, guys. Um, basically, obviously, this is I'm not really hunting but at the moment, but basically, I have a nader that you attach down here, so mine would go up here. just want to find a pretty... Let's let this car pass by. You want to find a tree, obviously, a decent width. Um, I'm going to put it down here on the picture what the recommended width for the tree that you'll need to attach these to is. A lot of these will have a recommended diameter so or thickness, so a really skinny tree probably wouldn't be as good as a super big tree. But like I feel like these are perfectly fine. Um, so you're going to just kind of put it here. You're going to lean up against it. We're going to run our strap around, guys, like this. Pull tight. And then just use that first, whatever loop it is. A lot of guys say that it's hard sometimes when it won't line up. And what they'll do is they'll turn it, attach it to it like this. So it's turned, it's off of the tree. And then what they'll do is they'll turn it back onto the tree. And then at this point, this one, they'll take it and just... Push it down like that. 
once it's bit down, guys, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, that's pretty much how you attach it. And then this, uh, you can do whatever you want with this excess here. But normally what I, what I do is I just continue to wrap it around the tree. Kind of wrap it a couple times around my Versa button here so it's not just... I don't like to have anything crazy just loose and then I'll just take this black little strip and hold it tight there guys that way it's not flailing around while I'm up in the tree or trying to climb it it's just out of the way and it's not gonna get in the way of me climbing the tree but basically that's pretty much bit down I'm not even wearing anything I'm just using hey dudes but you're gonna just kind of get up on there like this and that's what's gonna hold you guys and then you go to the next step, and obviously I'm not wearing all my stuff, but you could imagine once you get here, you put your next step up, and you go on up on the tree. That's pretty much how you do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend climbing an A-Dudes, because this here is pretty ribbed. Uh, and obviously you can feel it through your A-Dudes, but with boots, it wouldn't be that big of an issue. So pretty much this is what it looks like on the tree, like I said. You have the ribs here which is why i'm saying don't use like hey dudes obviously you're going to be in your hunting boots and this is what i meant by i just take it kind of wrap the excess around again and then i'll just wrap it around the burst button here a couple more times you can do it as tight as you want and then just take this and attach it there and that just keeps this from just flailing around um if you don't care you can literally have it just flailing around like that. Or I've known some people wrap it around that itself like this. And then they can take this little elastic part and just tuck it like that. Whatever is up to you. I like the Versa button because it just keeps it all here. And obviously, um, once it's attached and you push down on this to climb up, it basically tightens really hard. And I mean, it's not going to go nowhere, guys. Obviously, you're going to be wearing all your harness. Your safety equipment and like these little steps i mean super awesome super cool so it just kind of it took away and then you just flip it down when you're ready to climb up and you get up there and you climb it up and you're ready to go but that's pretty much how it looks attached it's pretty simple and to take it apart all you're doing is taking this and what i like to do is i'll just use my knee kind of kick it up and do this part and you're off you're ready to go again guys and then you stack it back on here and you clip them together but yeah that's uh pretty much my climbing stick and um the ones i decided to go with they're obviously more affordable than a lot of the expensive parts the ones that are out in the market another thing is when you're wrapping this strap don't wrap it in between the bolts of the burst button here and this suction cup because if you do it bulges out right here don't don't wrap it in this section wrap it on the longer section down here because if you wrap it here it's going to bulge out a lot and then when you go to suction cup them they won't suction cup together as good so that's another key pointer there um would i recommend these for the price honestly i don't think you can beat them i think these will get you in the tree as far as me i've never saddle hunted and that is why we decided to get into it a little bit and just start learning um, and I feel like as far as the budget goes, you don't want to break your bank uh, and not know if you're going to like it or not. So we decided to go with some affordable options. Some people, like I said, they say the suction cups break, but I've also seen a lot of reviews that they've had them forever and they swear by them. So this is what I do with mine. And then I just kind of wrap that around the Versa button there. So pretty excited to try these out this season. Like I said, I wanted to keep the video short and to the point for the price. I think the value that these sticks will provide you is uh, it's not comparable to some of the other ones. Like I feel like these, these sticks here are going to provide and do what you need them to do. And obviously after a couple of years, you will wear and tear them and you can just buy the replacement singles as you go. Um, other than that, like I said, price for the value the sticks provide, I, I think that these sticks definitely perform. Um, I'd definitely buy the Hockey Williams again if I had to. These are the 20 inches, like I said. I believe there's some that are a little bit shorter and some that are a little bit longer, but these are perfectly fine, especially on my pack that I have. 
I'll be doing a review on that pack soon. But basically, they tuck up under the bottom of the pack here, and they kind of my bag is literally as wide as them almost, and uh, that works amazing because. They don't, they don't stick out super far on my sides when I'm walking with it. They just stay put right then and there. When I need them, I get to where I'm going, undo them, attach my first stick, go on up, attach my next stick. Next thing you know, I'm on the platform ready to go. So, uh, Like I said, for these hockey limbs, 20-inch sticks for the price, $115 for four. Or, like I said, uh, if you just want singles, they're like 40 bucks each. If you only want to go with two, that's $80. Uh, I bought the four pack just because me and my brother are splitting them two and two, and then we're using a three step aider that I can show you guys uh, on a later video. But like I said, for the 20 inchers, definitely recommend it for the price. I don't think you're going to find something that can beat that price point. There's a lot of expensive ones out there that are super nice looking, but again, uh, trying to take care of the <laughs> of the bank to purchase things that actually will matter, like broadheads and things like that, arrows, things for the bow. But these are, as far as climbing up the tree, I think they'll get the job done for the price. Um, anyways, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, drop that like button, comment down below if you have these, how long have you used them, if there's anything that you would modify on them. I know some guys modify these, they take the straps off and they use a am steel cord just to do it. But uh, me, I think I'm just leave them like this and try them like this, guys. Like I said, down here in the south, it doesn't get as cold as up north. But I've heard, like I said, people say that. In colder weathers, these uh, suction cups become brittle and crack. So I'm sure you can purchase these suction cups on the Hawk website. Be able to replace them if that does happen. Um, or just reach out to them. I'm sure they'll send you out a replacement or you guys can come to an agreement of some sort. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with mine. I haven't even tested their customer service. But for the price, for what you get, I think you can't beat that. So anyways, guys, until next time. That's my review on the Hawk Helium, uh, the 20 inches. So when we go out into the woods here in the next couple of weeks to start trying them, we will definitely do a review of putting them up, getting up on the stand, and actually hunting. Uh, I think we're going to go try to do a hog hunt pretty soon, guys, out in the public land there. We saw a whole bunch of hogs last time we were there, so we'll see what happens. But again, this was just a review, quick and easy on the sticks. Until next time, like I said, guys. I'll keep on enjoying the outdoors.